Hey, thank you for viewing Lena Reads. This is going to be a special collective message for any sign. Um, it can resonate for anybody that's watching. It probably won't resonate. For, I mean, it definitely won't resonate for everybody. But um, because it's a collective message, it can resonate for any sign. With the Ace of Cups here, it is definitely saying that somebody is waking up to something. There's something coming into your field of feelings, right? Like, you can feel it. I feel like it's in reverse for me because you don't know what it is. You can only feel it right now. So, the cards are upside down, right? I mean, reversed. But for me, this card is reverse. And it's saying that somebody can feel some, some changes being made. They know something is about to happen. They can feel it. But they don't know exactly what it is yet. This sun card is realizing or seeing it with your own eyes exactly what you've been feeling. It's like being able to identify it, right? Now you know what it is. Look at this. The ace. Oh, my God. I knew it was going to be special. I told you from the beginning. Didn't I? Okay. But um, with the ace of swords here, under the sun in reverse, I feel like this is saying you just can't believe it. Give me one more for this collect, uh, collective message. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I knew it. I knew it was going to be special. Okay, so with the magician here, this is you accepting it. Accepting what you know. Because right here with this Ace of Swords, it feels like it takes a minute for you to reacclimate to the new direction. I'm going to clarify. I'm using all my little dicks. Let's see. Can I find an Ace of Cups? Somebody. Uh, let's see here. Somebody got an approval, a loan approval. You might not know it yet. You might not know it yet. Ooh, okay. The magician fell out right there up under this card. I don't know what this card is, but that's the magician in this deck. The Nine of Cups. There's a lot of communication going on. Like, somebody is feeling things, right? And what you're feeling, you know it means something. You know this is telling you something. You know every little feeling you get, you know it tips you either to the left or to the right. You know something is up, right? But you just can't put your finger on what it is or it just hasn't presented itself. You may have, with this Ace of Swords in reverse, you may kind of get scared whenever you get the feelings. Whenever you feel this, you might get scared. But... It's a good feeling. It's, it's a good thing. I mean, when I say you might get scared because you don't know whether it's coming from a good place or a bad place, but with all these cards here, it looks like it's coming from a very uh, positive place. It's coming from a place that, you, that you've that you been creating, right? This is something you've been working on or gradually coming into or thinking about or dreaming of that 
is what's related to these feelings you keep getting. And like I want to describe the feeling, but it's going to be something like, you know how you go on about your day and everything is just fine. It's just regular like it always is. But then you get a feeling that you, you, you're unfamiliar with. You don't know why you feel like that, but it makes you want to call and check on people. Or it makes you want to make sure you didn't leave something on at the house. You know, it just a feeling that says check everything I don't know why I'm why I just felt like that or why I feel like that right now you know but there's a lot of that in this and it's all like the word premonition is coming but it doesn't have to be premonition it's just the energy around you is adjusting like these sun rays, the energy around you is adjusting to a frequency that's very, very attractive for what you've been trying to manifest, right? Let's clarify the sun. With this five of wands here, this is saying that whatever you're manifesting, like it's it's greater than you. Like when you thought it up, or when you started praying for it, or when you started working towards it, you thought it up the way you wanted it to be. You know the feeling of what it feels like to have what you're trying to manifest because you've you've kind of meditated in it. You kind of sat around and fantasized about it, right? But it's going to be even better than the motherfucking fantasy. It's going to be better. With the sun and the five of wands here. Um... The Five of Wands is, let's see here, Leo in Jupiter. I think that is Jupiter. But it's, um, Jupiter is, I think it's expansion. Anyway, don't, don't quote me on that, but with this five of wands here it's like normally the five of wands is like taking a defensive stance like being you know protecting something or ready ready to 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 do battle if necessary right but here I'm seeing it as like a graduation, like things are growing around you. They're in the, the early phases, but they're growing around you. And it doesn't feel like they're, I mean, it doesn't feel like they're growing around you, but the feelings that you get that kind of scare you every now and then or make you, you know, just feelings that you you really don't know what they are. You're just like, why do I, why do, am I feeling like this? Why did my heart just start beating fast? You know what? I mean, now, it, it's like, it, it comes on like that. It's not a, it's not, if you're having a heart attack, please just, you know, go to the doctor. But I'm saying, there's, a, a feeling that sets you into fight or flight, right? It, it 
it's not all the way fight or flight, but it makes you pay attention to it. It makes you say, I feel like I'm forgetting something. You know what I'm saying? Just, I, I know I'm forgetting something or something I, I should have been doing right now, I'm not doing what should I be? I mean, it, it really makes you dig in your head for like, why do I feel like I forgot something? But what that is, again, is these energies rearranging themselves around you. The energies around, around you is rearranging itself. This is not something you can see. So you don't feel like these good things are taking place. But as the energy around you is recalibrating to a higher frequency, it's very attractive. So there are good things coming in. You do need to worry about like believing in what you set in motion because it's real and it, it's happening for you. Okay. It's not happening. You don't see it. You don't feel like the feelings you're getting are about what's coming in you don't feel that you don't feel like that but that's what it's about um if you get the feeling to check that check whether you forgot something or something like that go ahead and check it but once you know once your checklist is checked everything on your checklist is checked off then you know it's a, a feeling that you need to just find a quiet spot and sit with your cell phone right just relax in that feeling try to bring yourself back to center so that you can continue to pull those energies in or um, build those energies around you somebody getting a new house and or a new car if somebody just got approved for a loan it's way more than what you thought it was going to be It's way more than what you thought it was going to be. Okay? And, like, I guess I just have to keep going. I don't, I don't want to start right there. One more. Another four. So you're on the fence here, but there's no going back. There's no going back. Like you, you've already accepted what's coming in. That's why you can feel it now. You've already raised your hands to the to the sky and said, "Lord, I accept all my blessings that you want to bestow upon me." And there's no going back. There is a warning here that the greater you, the more you learn, even about manifesting, the bigger your responsibility, the, you know, the bigger the responsibilities around you, and the more you earn or grow from these um new things coming in the more will be expected of you you're gonna have to you're gonna have a pro you may have a problem with a boss or being a boss you you rather not have the power to take things away from people like you you don't mind being a giver and some of you don't even want to give right i mean not outright in you know in the open some of you don't want to give some of you just don't want to give out in the open you don't want th that attention in that spotlight 
Some of you don't want the attention in the spotlight of being uh, a boss. But um, it looks like you're able to find a little bit of fault in your new position. But you are handling it or you're able to handle it. Let me see what else we can get from there. Okay. Here are five of cards. Okay, I mean, yeah, the four of cups. say multiplication right like you're multiplying or you're providing let's see here you want to shy away so for somebody you want to shy away from from whatever this spotlight is some of the stuff you're coming up on to you it feels flashy and somebody doesn't want that flash. You know, they don't want that kind of attention. Somebody wants the attention, but they're insecure. And that's our clarifier for the Four of Cups there. Six of Pentacles. All things in moderation. Yeah, so with the Six of Pentacles here, I feel like it's saying you don't want to be like there's there's more responsibility than benefits. You feel like there's more responsibility than benefits. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Yeah, for somebody here, I see it being like, you're just not... You might be introverted, but it is time with the sun here. It is time for you to step into the spotlight. It's just a matter of balancing yourself, right? Because we got the Ten of Cups here clarifying this Queen of Wands, right? You just have to learn how to uh, embrace yourself and embrace what you know you deserve. And that's where you find the balance to stay in. Not to stay in it because there's no going back, but that's where you find the balance to build your confidence from to build your boss bone you know all right i feel like the reading is not done so let's go ahead and pull again okay we'll pull from i put out the romance angel so i'm gonna pull from it know if y'all can hear me over the Sophagium, uh frequency 
vibe video in the background. But we'll see. Okay. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Somebody may be rekindling a lost love. Um, but in relation to what we got going on here, somebody makes it, they make the connection between where they were and where, they, where they've come. Like, you remember yourself before all of this goodness started rolling in and you it, it takes some adjusting and getting used to but you come to a balance that says hey I'm still me I'm just me in a better place right yeah so somebody is just balancing themselves out like you're regrounding to a new level of vibration, to a new frequency, a new higher, higher frequency, higher energy, higher position, bigger money. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday together. This is a honeymoon here for somebody. Or a vacation. Calling in your soulmate is on the bottom of the deck. And I'm saying that that's going to be for these feelings that you're having, period. It's like everything that you, like, when you're having those feelings, like, I forgot something. It just keeps staying on you. It just keeps nagging at you a little bit. That's the energies around you. That's your sensitivity to the energies adjusting around you. You're attracting things calling in your soulmate that's that's a law of attraction card and it could be a soulmate but there's something you specifically asked for here there's something that you put in motion it could be a relationship but it also could be like I said somebody could have applied for a loan <clears throat> somebody could have applied for a a home um, there's just so many different things you could have called in that you've you've been working on like you, you never forget that this is what you want this is because this is what you work for every day okay let's see what we get Another Ace of Cups, right? And this one's in the upright. Yeah, so it starts out in this position and it comes at the end in this position, right? So you just, you went from a lower place in your heart in your mind to a higher place a better place possibly a new home or something like that and you're having to readjust you're having to readjust your mind you're having to readjust adjust your thinking you're just having to wrap your mind around how powerful how powerfully you must you manifested all this that's happening for you right now. So I'm gonna call that the collective message, the special collective message. Thank you for hanging out. Love you.